Nedbank offers a range of banking solutions for individuals, small businesses and corporates. Old Mutual holds nearly 52% of Nedbank. The company has a market cap of 92 billion rand. That's Nedbank, of course, and a price to earnings ratio of 11.8, a dividend yield of 3.8%. A turnaround story under Mike Brown. Yes, and in fact, if you go further back than that, it's also a turnaround story under Tom Boardman, his predecessor, because remember, Nedbank has sort of gotten a bit involved in the IT space, and then they had a bit of a nasty fall in 2003-04. They had some speculative investments they had to write off. They had to do a rights issue at like 50 rand a share. You know, now we're sitting at sort of 200 or thereabouts. So, you know, you can see they've recovered a heck of a long way since then. So they were seen as the sort of idiots in the sector that you would go to for a corporate loan if everyone else had turned you down, particularly in the property space. But for one reason or another, the cycle has worked in their favor. So as the market has recovered, as the economy has recovered, as the property sector has rebounded, they've been seen as the smartest kids on the block. And as you and say, you just to put that into context, you say that the turnaround started obviously with Tom Boardman. He made a firm footing and then that has been continued by Mike Brown. Yeah, because in the context of the disaster back in 03, 04, 05, you could take big write-offs, you could blame your predecessor, Richard Loebscher, for all of the problems, you could you know, have terrible earnings because everybody thought that they were going to be bad. You could throw the kitchen sink in it, do all the provisions, and then going forward, everything looked a lot better. They were able to write back those negative provisions, etc., etc. Really, Craig, now Nedbank has firmly asserted itself as a bank to be reckoned with in the South African space. Can it continue with this positive momentum from a growth perspective uh, in order to solidify its positioning further? Yeah, so I think it's got good steady growth in the retail side of things, even on the business banking. Um, where it hasn't perhaps been as successful is uh, vehicle asset finance, whereas the others have, have seen over 70% growth. And on your, your unsecured lending space, which is the big buzzword, but it's got a pretty small consumer banking. They talk about a credit loss ratio of 9.6%. 4%, they've had impairments of close to 1 billion. So that hasn't been as a successful, but maybe they're just a bit ahead of the curve in terms of what people have been warning about. Um, uh, you know, wh what's also interesting is the newer developments is they've got their own life license and short-term license, which they've been pushing. Uh, maybe that's in expectations of uh, Old Mutual getting rid of uh, Nedbank, which has been uh, ha talked about in corridors for a while. But, but maybe because um, Nedbank uh, is starting to perform, Old Mutual doesn't actually want to get rid of, of Nedbank anymore. Would that be a, a fair comment? No, well, I think if they, fi if they find the right purchaser at the right price, it, it, it certainly will be an offer that will be put on the table and, and looked at. But um, the the... The, the, um, the strategy of Nedbank tells me that they're not looking to the parent. And I think that's quite different to the model with the Standard Bank and Liberty, who own 54%, whereas it's the other way around in this particular scenario. So I think some good growth could actually come from the insurance side on Nedbank, and it start, will slightly start turning into a more diversified uh, animal going forward. Are we going to hot or not on Nedbank? Yeah, look, I'm not hot on them, again, because of the way the price has rallied, because the fact is... I don't even know why you're entering into this discussion. They're not going to do anything exciting. You should have just started off with the exciting. disclosure. You don't like any of the banks. You're going to be when not hot across the board. When the London Whale is losing you billions and billions of dollars, if you're a bank executive, there's no ways you can have a proprietary desk getting up to any kind of nonsense. But here's the point. In the past, the nonsense was where the profits came from. Because you know what they say in banking? What is a huge undisclosed, unauthorized, illegal profit on the trading desk, that's a bonus opportunity. You know, that's good news. Whereas in the case of something negative going on, then it's a disaster. So when all of that stuff is taken out of the mix, these businesses are not as exciting as they used to and be. And you are not going to be invited to any lunches by the banking CEOs out there. Just be <laughs> mindful of that. But you, on the other hand, Craig, may be going to some lunches with the banking CEOs. Uh, from a net bank perspective, hot or not? Well, look, the, their cost to income ratio is also very good, 54%. I think they're second best off the first round. Their, their, their return on, on, on assets is good as well, about 2.4%. Um, but on a valuation point of view, it's run hard. So I have to say not hot.